Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the IBEX 35 backpack from VanQuest. This is a modular backpack, it has quite a few items in it and on it that allow you to customize it, hang packs off of it, and to set it up for your specifications, either in hiking, daily use, or in tactical use, or in just plain old everyday carrying. The backpack has 500D Cordura nylon on it, as well as a reinforced bottom with tougher nylon stitching, and it's also durable water repellent. So it can withstand a sprinkle or two in the rain, however it will get soaked, so you want to make sure you cover the bag up if you're going to be in the rain for prolonged periods of time. It features a lot of belt customizations, buckles, and even a stern strap with a whistle on it. It has a flexible modular system to adapt to your torso length and also has a number of different hook and loop fields on the inside and outside of the pack. We have it here today outside somewhat fully loaded in a mock-up demonstration and as you can see this is in wolf gray. It's a pretty versatile backpack. It's got some nice features to it that I like and some things that I think they could improve and we'll go over that right now. As you can see on the outside we have these elastic shock cord here holder on the outside for gear for jackets and things we have this little rubber panel at the bottom which can support an item coming down as well inside the shock shock cord so it's pretty useful it's got 500d cordura nylon on the outside and on the bottom it's more reinforced as well as you can see there's a couple straps down here for mounting options and different items and whatnot we do have a couple holders in the bottom down here where you can pit gear as well so you can see that you can adjust the strap lengths as well here to fit your items which is pretty versatile and on each side it's the same so on this side we have the same exact on the opposite side which is we have this hyplon cut molly pals webbing and it does fit most pals molly adapters we have these straps here these tightening straps which compresses the bag down and we have these YKK zippers with the VanQuest Spartan pulls. These are these sort of big, huge finger pulls, which makes it easy to access the bag. On this side in the pocket here, we do have a hook and loop fuel on the inside where you can mount small removable Molly platform pouches and things like that of the VanQuest line. And we have this 210D uh, high-vis ripstop nylon. We have two pockets in the bottom down here. So we have a couple of ways of storing your gear on the side, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and put this back together here. And you can tighten these straps down, compress this bag down a whole heck of a lot, or loosen it very easily if you want it to. It's got a nice cover on the bottom, and it's designed pretty well where it protects part of the zipper point here for the main compartment, which is quite nice on the bottom side here. So these straps and the sewing is pretty well done on the pack. We'll go to the opposite side and demonstrate the adapter here, which we have a radio pouch with a Motorola radio here, and it's attached to, again, the Molly Pals webbing, the Hypalon type of material here, which is sewn in pretty well on the side, so you can attach different items to the side of the pack here. And once again, same exact pocket on this side as well. Let's go over the top pockets here on the inside. I'll try to adjust this so you can see. We have two pockets here in the top portion. The head does not come off. It's all one continuous unit. So the small pockets on the top here, you have inverted zippers, which is quite nice to keep dirt and grime out. And we have these tab pulls to hold on to it to open and close it. And in the top pocket, you can put a couple items like I got my Victorinox knife, some keys, you can put your wallet in there. So it's a very small pocket, but it does well to put some items in there, like your wallet and your keys if you want. And you can access them quickly and easily without having going into the entire bag itself. So we have another pocket here, which is a little bit bigger than the top pocket. And you can store stuff like your wallet or headlamp in here or other types of literature or map perhaps or something quick to eat or a GPS unit if you want. And it does include a zipper here, which you probably can't really see too well, but it can allow you to access the inside of 
the pouch here and you can access it on the inside when we open it up I can show you what that looks like so you have access inside the pouch from the top pocket up here which is quite nice let's go over the suspension system right here so we have a lot of padding uh, we have the lumbar support system this belt you can remove Although it's a little bit hard to remove, I would suggest maybe strapping it back behind the pack if you don't want to use it with the buckling systems. It's got this really flexible belt buckle system that they have in VanQuest. It's very simple. It's a click on and off, and you can adjust these on your waist pretty easily, and you can loosen them by pulling back these tabs. So it's a quite quick fit for the waist system. And the pads are comfortable, and they do hold the weight pretty well. Now the bag itself is about a little over five pounds, which is quite heavy for a 35 liter pack. However, it is pretty robust and it does ride comfortably on your back. So if you're looking for a backpack that's gonna be pretty lightweight, this is probably not the option for you. If you're looking for a rugged, robust backpack, this is the backpack for you. Now on the adjustment system, I've seen similar systems on Deuter bags or Deuter, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's a German company. They have a similar setup where you can adjust these different stops to adjust the height of the back. So it matches your, uh, the backpack, so it matches your uh, back. For example, when you go to get fitted for these backpacks, you, you measure from the top of the iliad crest, which is the top of your hip, hip bone, to your C7 vertebrae. And that gives you your torso length. And these bags nowadays are made to fit within whatever range you might be for your measurements. Obviously different torso sizes out there. So this can adjust to a large variety of torso sizes with this system. You simply would pull down the tab here, open it up, and you can slide this through the slots here. I think there's about four different measurement stops for it. And you can adjust the pack to your comfort level, which is quite nice for a bag like this. Now looking at the padding on the back, I find it very comfortable personally. It does have some airflow here and the padding is pretty soft, the foam and whatnot. Um, you will still sweat. I sweat a lot personally, and you will still sweat with this bag on. Uh, it does carry a good amount of weight inside of it, and it does carry it very nicely. Uh, I'm gonna tip over the bag again one more time, and I'm gonna show the top loader straps up here, which make this possible. So what these straps allow us to do is to bring the back bag closer back to your back and pits the weight closer to your body so it's easy to bounce the bag and make it more comfortable on your traps. So that's why they have the top loader straps on top of here, which is quite nice and useful. As you can see, we have these little Velcro strap attachments which you can undo and route cable systems through or water system through. We do have a water hole for the water bladder to come through the center here. We have a top grab handle here and on the sides we have these two drag handles as well. So this is quite a customized backpack. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the inside. Now this whole thing, it opens up like a clamshell. So what I like about it is that you can unclip these compression straps here on the side to access everything that you want. And you can stow them in these little pockets in the side here if you don't want to use them. So that's kind of nice to have that feature in the backpack. We're not gonna do that for now, but we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. See how I've arranged it. And then we'll go back to the outside pads in a moment. So we have two, again, Spartan zip pulls in the top here. I'm gonna try to do this without spilling out everything out of the backpack and show you kind of how they organize it on the inside here. So it opens like a clamshell very nicely and exposes the inside here. Uh, I just have some items I packed in here for demonstration. We have a VanQuest medical pouch here. I have my VanQuest FTM 6x9 generation 2 pouch, EDC pouch, this is my core pouch here. So it fits nicely in here perfectly. Then I have a VanQuest EDCM Husky and this is my electronic kit. And then we have my coat, a little jacket you can store in the bottom there. And this is a modular system which they have adapted for this pack. Uh, you can buy their cube set which has a Velcro attachment system onto the hook and loop field inside the uh, bag here. And simply you can take it off here. And it's a modular system, you can pull the packs off 
And they also sell these little adapters that go on the back of your EDC kit. So you can pit and you can pit it onto the, the bag like that, any fashion you want to organize it. They do sell small cubes that are a little bit more effective in that sense, but you can make this a modular kit for your VanQuest packs, which is kind of nice. So this is the inside, we'll turn it around so you can kind of see it. We have hook and loop fields here. They go in a horizontal fashion, so you can adjust things to the webbing here as well. We do have a pocket here for your bladder. So you can put that in there, a bladder tab holder here. So you can see that we can hang the bladder in and you got these straps to kind of cinch it down a little bit to keep it flat and conform to the back. And we have a hard plastic ridge rigid uh, frame inside of it that you can remove out. We have more hook and loop field on the other side here, which is nice. And I'm gonna switch the bag around here so you can see the pockets. Try to hold it up like this. So we have hook and loop field here. We can mount another attachment point. We have a pocket here, which you can open up and store items into. It's got some a clear see-through panel it's very opaque, but you can see through it. It's quite nice. You can store like maybe uh, items that you want, to, like food or, or maybe a pair of glasses in there. It doesn't feel like you would scratch the glasses. So it's pretty good material. And again, this is all 210D ripstop nylon on the inside as well. And then finally, we have that zipper I was talking about for the head where you can still access your items from the front top pouch from this side. And you can leave this open where you can just open up that zipper in the top and access what you want from the top. So again, this has a pretty useful way of organizing the zippers and compartments in the bag. So let's go ahead and zip through this up and I'll show you the padding on the front here. All right, going back to the front here, I want to show you the belts here. We do have some straps here to keep it stable and some holder straps. We, they're not exactly Molly Pals webbing, but you can hook stuff in the front on the side here. Uh, what I've noticed with some companies, what they do, and they usually get it wrong. Um, in, in this case, VanQuest doesn't have a pocket in the front, but some companies like, say, Osprey, will have a pocket in the front, and it's just so small, it's not very useful. So what they did instead, they added these adapters where you can mount a pouch, which wouldn't be small, and it would be effective in holding items on the waist belt, which would be kind of nice to have with the modular adaptability of this kit. Now, coming from a hiking perspective, this is a pretty heavy bag, and... It's not made for multi-day use, multi-day camping. In the right conditions and in the right season, you can use this as an overnight backpack if you pack it right for your specifications, obviously. So that requires a lot of fine tuning and customization. What it's really meant for is for a heavy duty day pack. Basically, if you're gonna be going through the brush, like mountain laurel, brick of bushes, or any kind of rough terrain and rough bush or vegetation, this bag will hold up. It's not a Tyvek type of bag where it's super lightweight. There's different tools for different purposes, and this particular tool allows you to uh, traverse terrain in uh, pretty much basically hard envi harsh environments, basically, at the price of weight. Now, the padding on the side here, I like this, that has these straps. And the sternum strap here, what's pretty common, what they've been doing for a number of years, is in the buckle system here, in the front, we do have a whistle. So that whistle is pretty useful in an emergency, and it's right there available to grab, which I do like. And I like to see that in different back backpacks. Now, it rides comfortable, but once again, some of the cons is that it's over five pounds, and the price is about $300, which is quite pricey in my opinion, although it is very good quality. Uh, the bag itself is phenomenal. It has a lot of features you can adapt to it and load it up with different customizations. Uh, I feel that they did a pretty good job with this. And as far as like suggestions for improving, I think maybe they could add more Molly Pals webbing in the front here 
or at least on the top where you can mount different items on the top. And the bouncing of the bag is it'll tip over on its backside. So even if you have weight in the top here, it can be very top heavy. So you have to learn how to distribute the weight in the bag if you're going to take it as a hiking backpack, uh, which is not hard to do, but it is a skill-based learning kind of thing you learn with each backpack that you buy and use. So in this one, you, you have to learn how to do that. Um, overall, it's a great bag, despite some of the cons to it. And uh, this was sent out for review, so I'm going to be sending it back to VanQuest. So I want to thank Alex for sending this out for review here. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your day.